What's up, everyone? Let's talk about my favorite role in World of Warcraft, healing. Now, this is going to be a tier list specifically for Mythic Plus only. And obviously, as usual, this is all subject to change. But if you're just here clicking on a video being like, what the hell should I play? Uh, spoiler, Resto Shaman. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of the video. We're just we're done right there then, pretty much, right? That's all you wanted from me. So uh, if you are going to stick around, though, we are going to start from the bottom and talk about why our healers are placed where they are as we work our way up to why Resto Shaman and another class is at S tier. So starting from the bottom, I'm going to tell you right now, I think that Priest happens to be there. Now, the main reason for this is I'm going to say Holy Priest is slightly stronger than Disc, in my opinion just for the fact that holy will still have strong single target healing cooldowns for the tanks who are basically getting one shot for their entire health bar every 10 seconds of the game now once they run out of those serenity cooldowns and stuff or big big party damage happens all the time if you're doing really massive pulls i think that they just fall behind they just don't have enough oomph to keep them going in the group right disc is also going to run in the same situation absorbs are just not strong enough to prevent the amount of damage that needs to be prevented so the disc can then heal the health bar. While pain suppression is still really good and will help your tank get through a lot of the situations where they might be getting one shot all the time, until you know the dungeons perfectly, you're not gonna really know where those spots are and unless you're in Discord with your tank, then you're not really gonna know when they're using their cooldowns versus when you are. So as a pug situation, I just don't find it uh, that appealing, right? So I'm putting Priest down there and we're gonna move up to B tier. Now B tier is gonna make a lot of people really angry, and I already know, but it's not because of throughput, right? This class is really good at throughput, but because of all the changes we've dealt with lately with the tanks and the way the healers are healing and how much damage goes out in these dungeons, it's even more important that you bring an augmentation to your keys. Now, I know a lot of people are really upset one way or really like the augmentation and how it plays as a support role, but some people just don't like the fact that you basically have to bring one and then you two DPS with it. So because of that, obviously that's gonna mean preservation gets moved to B tier just because you're not really gonna stack up on it, right? As far as the talent trees, you don't need two healer mana buffs, right? Like you're gonna use one of those, and that's pretty much it. So just because of that situation, I'm putting preservation at B. Now, as far as A tier, I honestly couldn't really tell you which one I would put in front of the other 100%, but in my opinion, I'm gonna say, I would recommend Mistweaver next in line, just because with the Celestial Conduits tree reducing all your cooldowns, you know, Chi Cocoon is really, really strong. It ends up being like maybe almost just under a minute cooldown. So you have that up pretty often. Good buffer to pair with a smaller tank cooldown to get them through some of the heavier damage situations, as well as give them hots and heal them up a little bit. I also think that Mistweaver with things like Revival and Chi G only being one minute, as well as having Shailun to sort of buff you whenever you need like a group heal, all of those make Monk like really, really good at excelling in this situation, right? It also still has AOE stops with kick, ring a piece. If there happens to be kiting later on the season, you can take talents that make roll slow the mobs and that's pretty much spammable, right? So you can constantly slow these mobs, tank and kite, whatever needs to be done in the group, as well as having an interrupt, right? So very, very strong overall. I think the next class is something that was meta, and I think that it still could be strong, but I'm going to say Druid is probably second in the A tier. Now, there's a lot of people who will still probably play Resto Druid and will still very, more than likely do really high keys, right? It's going to be fairly good, but I actually think Blizzard really, really, really took a big L for Druid whenever they released this new like tree and then moved everything around on it, like forcing you to take stuff that you don't really want in order to get to the bottom. I think a lot of that was just like, really really bad and hopefully within the next month some of that stuff changes and then druids sort of move around right but realistically druids only have iron bark to help out their tank and then hots for their group right so if you miss a kick something happens druids are basically using like a clear cast trying to get people back up single target if someone gets hit with something that was supposed to be interrupted supposed to be aoe stopped i just don't think that they have enough of what it takes to push those situations easily, right? So unless you're in a full coordinated group, you have everything planned out, 
You also have to fa figure that you might be running with a Guardian Druid, right? Which means you already have Mark, so that buff might not be as useful. Now, if you're playing with a Blood DK, then I could see it, right? Blood DK kind of takes care of themselves for the most part, but you have to play it at a min-max level, you know, like 100%, or else you're probably just going to get one shot on that too, right? So overall, that's where I think those stack up so far. Now, we all know I'm going to put Resto Shaman at the very top here. Now, this is because of a lot of reasons, right? You still have Raid Buff that just got introduced. It's strong whether or not you're a caster or a melee, so that's good. Still brings Ankh, Heroism, as well as a ton of Raid cooldowns, right? Shaman's always been known for that. Shaman's always had stuff like Healing Tide Totem, Ascendance, uh, Spirit Link, and being able to pull up a lot of that overhealing and normal healing into Cloud Burst and then pop it whenever your group actually takes big damage just makes Shaman a no-brainer. Not to mention you can still ranged interrupt with Wind Shear too, right? And Cap Totem. There's just plenty of things that Shaman has in their toolkit that just makes them really great for this situation. And now that they've sort of buffed them a little bit and gave them what they've needed to accomplish the goals, I think they're actually going to be a really, really solid class. And then lastly on the list, I've seen a ton of people playing these. Don't get me wrong, I think they're great healers. I'm still going to put them in S tier, but I think they're just slightly less than Resto Shamans, is Holy Paladin. Holy Paladin was always known from like day one as like a tank healer. Big bursts, right? You can Holy Shock, big heals, ton of people. And they've always been really sturdy. You've got Bubble, you have the extra stamina and armor talents, even though that's slightly been nerfed. Stuff, Sack, uh, your Diva Aura that you're going to be running, Aura Mastery for the group bop if needed right like there's just a ton of utility with the paladin and i think that they're also going to pair up really well so all in all i mean i would probably just think about maybe your friends you're going to be playing with pick a different class than what they are going to be that way you get the most out of all the buffs provided with the group but all in all it's looking like it might be a resto shaman season so even though i used to main it i'm pretty excited about it i'm actually going to be playing Mistweaver this time and the only reason I say that is because I think the Mistweaver toolkit is probably the most fun to play, personally, as well as them being fairly strong. And with me being at a slightly lower level than Arresto Shaman or Holy Paladin, I don't feel I'm going to run the risk of taking a nerf. So, all in all, I feel that's a safe pick. And uh, who doesn't love spinning crane kick? I mean, come on. So, all in all, those are my ranks. I mean... Uh, that could change here in a couple weeks. Who knows? Maybe I'll update you guys whenever that does happen. But as of right now, that's what I'm going to say. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.